All right. Hey, class. In this video, I wanted to do some analysis with you of a Jacob Rees photograph. Um, according to the reading, uh, as you may re remember, Jacob Rees is an immigrant who comes to the United States, to New York City, uh, I believe it's in the 1860s or 1850s. Um, he becomes a photojournalist, essentially. Uh, he works for the newspapers, and he begins to chronicle the life of what he calls uh, the other half. At this time of industrialization, urbanization, and immigration, we begin to see a major class divide in the United States, right? a divide between the haves and the have-nots, uh, between native-born Americans um, and immigrants. And uh, at this time of growing class uh, divide, Jacob Rees wanted to take photographs to document uh, how the other half lives. And so, Similarly to the way that Jane Goodall will go to Africa uh, and begin taking photographs of, I, don't, I can't remember, chimpanzees or apes or something, um, Jacob Rees would likewise go into the heart of the city uh, and try to document uh, how the poor were living. And in a series of photographs in a book he called How the Other Half Lives, uh, his goal was to... Uh, play upon the sympathies, the emotions of the uh, wealthy New York class in order to uh, raise awareness, um, to promote uh, changes in, into laws, to find ways uh, of, of, of getting the wealthy to, do, to donate money to these poor people as a way of helping to make their lives more manageable. Uh, in one of your assignments this week, I've asked that you take one of these Jacob Reese photographs and provide some analysis to it, uh, to ask questions, and, um, uh, and, and hopefully come to a better understanding of how this photograph worked for the audience it was intended to. So I, I, I'm planning on working through one with you right now. This is a photograph, one of his more famous photographs. And as you can see, it is supposedly documenting what it uh, looks like three young boys uh, it appears that they are sleeping, they are sleeping standing up, uh, here on some stairs. Uh, they're sleeping in the dirt, in leaves, against this um, uh, was wooden panel. So as you look at this picture, the first thing I want you to do is ask yourself, um, what comes to mind, like what are the adjectives that you would first use to describe this picture? Um, now, of course, I'm a little bit more skeptical, uh, but I think that the emotions that Jacob Reese is fighting for by showing the images of children and not of three 90-year-old uh, men uh, was to play upon that kind of nurturing instinct. Uh, oh, these are poor children. Uh, they are so innocent. Uh, they are probably homeless or orphans, and they have no ways of supporting themselves. This is the life that they have. And so I, I think... By using this image, Jacob Rees is hoping that these uh, wealthy patrons would say, oh, well, fine, um, we'll, we'll send some money down to put this kid into an orphanage, perhaps. Uh, maybe we'll buy them some new clothes. Uh, maybe we can build uh, an orphanage to keep these kids protected from the elements. But is it just as simple as that? Um, I encourage you to be skeptical with these photographs, as historians have uh, often been. Um, because Jacob Rees is a human. He's a, photo, a photographer. He has an objective here. He is biased. Right? If we've stated that his objective in taking these photographs is to bring about a, a change, to uh, convince or persuade these wealthy people to send money to the poor, right? so then how does Jacob Rees create that? Right? Is he just walking through these alleys and clicking pictures, or is he helping to stage the scene? to make it uh, more artistic, um, to help uh, prey upon our emotions. So I ask you, do you think that Jacob Reese, in the middle of the night, is walking through an alleyway where he spots these three kids sleeping? He quietly sets up a tripod, right? He, he gets his camera all set. And remember, he's using uh, photography that isn't anything like digital cameras today. You have to get the lighting just right, so I imagine he's getting um, maybe some lights, maybe um, getting it all set up. Of course, he's not making any noise as not to disturb these sleeping children, right? 
perfectly quiet. And then without their permission, he begins taking the photographs, trying to capture the best that he can this scene. Do you think that's really what happened? Like, is this an authentic scene? Does he just walk by and capture this scene? Or is this inauthentic? Is this manufactured? Ask yourself that question. If you look very carefully at the boy uh, to my left, I don't know how you see it, maybe to your right, the boy over here in the little corner. If you look closely, let's see if I can zoom in anymore. Oh, that's good. It looks like this kid is smiling. So is he asleep? Is he in on the secret? Now, I'm not saying this is what happened, but imagine with me that Jackie Brees is walking, he sees three kids in this corner playing jacks, and he says, hey guys, uh, here's a pack of cigarettes and 25 cents. I'll give this to you if you guys play along with me for a few minutes and let me take your photograph. And the kids, well, okay, what do you want us to do? All right, guys, I just want you to pretend to be sleeping, right? And then I need you to hold still for a few seconds so I can capture the image, right? And so the boy, they all get down. How's this look? No, 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 this isn't pathetic enough. This isn't sad enough. No one's going to believe this. So uh, this boy, you, um, lean up. Pretend that you're cold. Lean up against this older boy. Uh, older boy, who sleeps standing or sitting up? Who sleeps leaning uh, on their um, on their on their fists? Right? That, that does not look comfortable. I imagine if I was sleeping on the streets, I would lay out straight uh, here on the ground, or maybe on one of these stair on one of these stairs. Right? It's beside the point. But you see what I'm getting at here? Is this a manufactured scene? Is this boy right in this moment of waiting for the camera? Are you done yet? This is so exciting! I can't wait, wait to get this pack of cigarettes. Um, it, is, it, is that what he's doing? Is he kind of smiling, knowing that he's in on this little secret? Uh, the camera lights go off, the boys jump up, like, all right, pay us and let, and let us be gone. Right? Is this authentic? Or is this manufactured? Now, I believe that many of the images are manufactured. That these are, in a way, actors. They, they are real people, they are probably real poor orphans. Uh, but this scene is not authentic. Is that fair? Is this fair for the purposes that Jacob Reese was taking this photograph? Remember, he's trying to get this emotional response from these wealthy patrons in order to get them to pay money to help, help these children. Is that problematic? That he is, in an era before, before photoshopping, photoshopping a picture in order to elicit a specific emotional response? Right? Is that moral? Is it ethical? All right, so this is just a, a sample of one photograph, uh, and I've tried to illustrate some ways that this image could be problematic. As a historian, my job is to go back and research this doc, uh, th these children, to research Jacob Rees, and to better understand how he was taking these photographs. That these pictures exist are, is important. Right, they provide us a glimpse into what life in the late 19th century New York City looked like. However, that glimpse may not be historically accurate. And before I can say that this is what it looked like, this is how orphans slept, I need to go back and consider his bias. How is this manufactured and for what objective? So class, in your assignments this week, I would like for you to uh, apply a similar approach. Consider the photograph. Ask yourself, is it authentic? Is it inauthentic? Are there any hints that you see from carefully examining the material? All right. Well, good. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, again, shoot me an email. I'm happy to answer. Thanks. Bye.